How could a positive attitude possibly relate to safety? Think of how you feel when you're tired or upset. Are you focused? Can you complete a difficult task? Or does your mind wander to the last argument you had and stop you from concentrating on what you are doing? Negativity spreads like a tumor through you, and if you let it, it will take over your mind. From there, the cancer spreads through the job site, wrecking relationships, destroying productive work environments, and distracting us from behaving safely. Near misses increase, accidents become common, and morale drops. Across job sites, a poor attitude seems to be a problem. What can we do about this problem? It starts with you. When you wake up in the morning, you choose your attitude for the day. Do you want to be miserable or do you want to be happy? Happiness is a personal choice. You only have the ability to hold on to one thought in your mind at any given time. Why choose to hold on to a bad thought? Sure, sometimes, when we're tired or we're sick, our ability to be positive is lower. But we always have a choice. Realize that you can actively change your attitude. You are not passively riding through life in control of the thoughts and dreams of others. Take control of your mind. It is your most powerful tool. You are capable of anything. Giving negative thoughts the ability to flourish will only spoil your chance of true happiness. Think about this. Here are some ideas to live a happier life. Push yourself to learn every day. When you learn, you will feel exhilarated. Teach others what you've learned along the way to keep positive affirmation alive. Young people are the future. Support us and embrace us. Never take anything personally. If someone treats you unfairly, that is a reflection of their own self and it has nothing to do with you. Be open, honest and fair in all of your dealings with others. The kindness will be returned. Smile at everyone you see. When you see someone else's face, you unconsciously mimic their expression. When your face makes the expression, your brain starts to feel that emotion. Spread happiness. Stress in itself is not a bad thing. If you can change how you view stress, you can use it to enrich yourself. A natural response to stress is to reach out for help. Forget your ego and ask for help you may form a valuable new relationship. Always do your best. If you are talking with someone and your phone rings, don't answer it. They will leave a voicemail. You are choosing to have a conversation. Show that person you appreciate them. Believe in yourself. You are the only one that you need the support of. Surround yourself with positive people who enrich your life. Set goals and stay focused on them. As you achieve goals, reevaluate and set higher targets. If we can change our attitudes, the goal of zero incidents can become a reality. Meditate, exercise more, go for walks, spend more time in nature, read more, eat well. Don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself. Bring out your inner child. Travel somewhere you've never thought of going like Antarctica. Sing. Push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Try new things. Do something that scares you. And dance like nobody's watching.
Try expressing gratitude more often. Write a letter to someone important to you, then call them and read it to them, like this. Mom, I love you. Without you, I would have never grown up into a positive young man. I would have never been able to share this video with my coworkers. Hopefully, we will learn from you, Mom, and you may have saved a life. Thank you.